Remember when Joe Biden told the American people that his son didn't make any money in China? My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about, China. Well, not only did he lie about his son Hunter making money in China, but it also turns out that $40,000 in laundered China money landed in Joe Biden's bank account in the form of a personal check. And the Oversight Committee has it. Here's how Joe Biden benefited from his family's shady deal with CEFC, a Chinese Communist Party-linked company. It all began with a shakedown in the summer of 2017, when Hunter Biden sent a message to his CEFC associate demanding a $10 million capital payment. As Hunter Biden extorted this associate, Hunter claimed he was sitting with his father and that the Biden network would turn on his associate if he didn't pony up the money. The extortion scheme worked. Days later, $5 million flowed in from a Chinese affiliate of CEFC. Over the following three weeks, Biden family members made a series of complicated financial transactions to hide the source of the China money. Here's how that happened. First, Northern International Capital, a Chinese company associated with CEFC, wired $5 million to Hudson West III, a joint venture established by Hunter Biden and a CEFC associate. Then Hudson West III sent $400,000 to an entity owned and controlled by Hunter Biden. Next, Hunter Biden wired $150,000 to Lion Hall Group, a company owned by James and Sarah Biden. Sarah Biden then withdrew $50,000 in cash from Lion Hall Group. Later the same day, she deposited it into her and James Biden's personal checking account. A few days later, Sarah Biden cut a check to Joe Biden for $40,000. The memo line of the check said loan repayment. Like the payment to Joe from AmeriCorps funds, it's certainly plausible that this payment where James and Sarah used funds from China was indeed a loan payment to Joe. But even if this $40,000 check was a loan repayment from James Biden, it still shows how Joe benefited from his family cashing in on his name with money from China, no less. Without his family peddling his name and his son threatening a CEFC associate with consequences that he said Joe Biden knew about, James wouldn't have had the money to write the $40,000 check to his brother Joe. It's also worth remembering that Biden family efforts to secure millions from this Chinese company began when Joe Biden was still vice president. In taking funds sourced to a CCP-linked company that wanted to advance China's interest, Joe Biden exposed himself to future blackmail and put America's interest behind his own desire for money. The House Oversight Committee will continue to follow the money and hold President Biden accountable for his corruption.